Yeah, certainty, man, certainty. You want to get certain about something? I don't want to learn something. I want to know something. Okay, if you take a note, you want to write this down. Uh, we, we, we aren't trying to educate. We're trying to get certain. I want to know something. I don't want to learn something. I want to know something. I want to know it. I want to know for sure. Okay, I'll give you an example. You're going on a trip. Because everybody's like, knowledge is power, right? Uh, People think that knowledge is information. Information is not knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge means I know what I'm doing. But let's say you're going someplace. You're going to go to X. I'm going to just show you that information is not knowledge. Today with technology, I can put that destination X. Let's say you're in a car. I can put that destination X in my navigator. My, my navigation system. I can put it on my phone. I can call Siri and tell me to give me the, 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 the check. Let's say it's 22 kilometers to that destination. The longer it is, the more doubt you have. Everybody agree? Okay. Then on the way home, on the way home, you know where home is. It's 22 kilometers. Exactly the same distance both ways. Which way takes longer? On the way there. Why? You had all the data, you had the map, you had to Google. You, you have all the information, but you don't know where you're going. Everybody said this, man, it took so long to get there and it was so fast getting home. That's the difference between information and knowledge. When you know something, it takes the uncertainty out of the deal and you can go fast. So your question is, how often should you do this until you know it? You should know what I'm gonna say before I say it. That's when, that's when people should repeat it, man, because now you're like, oh yeah, I get it. I know what he's doing now. How many believe this? If you saw this, this two and a half days or three days that we just did, if you came back and did it again tomorrow, how many believe this? You would learn more from it next week than you learned from it this week. Could you, if it's ex identical data, identical data. How many have been to a movie before, went to a movie, went back the next week and saw the same movie and missed scenes? I didn't see that. You know why you didn't see it? Because you were stuck in the scene before it that you loved so much. Oh, you love that scene. It captured your mind and you missed the next scene. It's not like you went unconscious. You, got, you became captured by this moment. So, so that's why you want to go back and repeat data. Okay. Also, let me tell you one other thing about information. Most people, the first time they see something, take in only what they agree with.